there is a live stream on my channel where I had a guest, Trisha's Orchid Life. Her link will be in the description of this video, where we were discussing the evolution of an indoor growth space, not including greenhouses or conservatories, but how do we evolve with our collection and when does it start to become I need more infrastructure in order to make my orchids even happier than they already are. Anyway, I found some footage from back in 2018, so I wanted to share that with you. I'm just gonna go through some of the basics of my evolution, not the details. I just want to show you then and now, before and after, because the details are all in the stream, which I will also link in the video. But I just wanna describe a few things of what you're gonna see here. My beautiful giraffe, she stands at five foot eight. I am six feet tall, so we pretty much have eye contact. It is amazing. Anyway, the reason that she was in the corner back there was because you can see my new orchid rack was installed in the far corner where I am actually now sat at my dining room table, which has become my desk. The idea being that the whole space was going to remain and be maintained as what it's supposed to be, a dining room. So my giraffe was placed in the corner as part of the peekaboo jungle thing when the orchids were on the shelf. I would be able to see her through the canopy of the leaves or the blooms. Anyway, so we can move along and you can see that up there I have a fan pretty much so that if any hot air rises, I can push the warm air back down at an angle towards the orchids that are going to be shown very, very soon. That is my buffet. That is my painting that is called Path to Paradise. It is not crooked. It's just me jiggling around with the camera. And now you can see how the shelves that I still have were then allocated and how the spotlight's probably going to be used for phalaenopsis, but I wasn't too keen on the spotlights just shining on one area. So, but anyway, because it was dark, I figured I'm gonna put the spotlights on. This footage originally was made for the electrician. I had already changed my mind <laughs> after having the rack placed where it was and he had already done some installation. So I I recorded this footage for him and then voiced over what I wanted to do and sent it to him. So yeah, <laughs> even back then I was creating videos, but not with a channel. And then you can see how there's a white table now in the front. That is the desk I would love to have if I could get rid of my dining room table. That is the desk that is absolutely feasible in size. I don't need a big table as I'm currently dealing with. It makes everything more messy. However, unfortunately, there is no space in this space now for two desks. Anyway, back in the day, that was my desk because I was still trying to do some work and I was trying to set my orchids up in such a way that I could still work at the desk. <laughs> You could see enter humidity trays on heat mats <laughs> and pretty much that is what my decision was made. I've got to do something. Things have got to change, hence video for the electrician. And then you can see that I have, because that was my desk, my pin, my notes wall and everything in the back, my daughter has that one up in her room right now. And of course, my stainless steel shelving, which is heavy duty stuff. It's actually for catering. If you wanted to store plates, pots and pans on it, you can do that. However, I took measurements of my 15 centimeter pots, doubled the row, and then I started to check what I could find on the market. And above, I don't know if I pan above, but there are shop lights. No, we're going down. Now you can see the drawers to the left. I created a shelf. I still use them. Those were the desk drawers for another desk table from years ago that I then repurposed as orchid shelf. <laughs> And clearly we are in the winter as far as I can tell because I've got like a plastic covering. It's sort of like a heat buffer because those desk drawers are also black glass surface and that is very, very cold. So I have an insulating material to not only protect the glass, but also keep the reservoirs of my pots a little bit warmer and buffer against the cold. And you can see underneath, I've got my Vanda baskets that I had prepared for orchids that were already in the mail and on their way. So my baskets were ready to go. <laughs> 
now you can see what is my dining room table and you can see my work surfaces the you know the black padding that you have to protect whatever you're working on so i was shifting pretty much from the desk already to the dining room seeing what would fit <laughs> but the dining room table is in the middle the chairs have already been removed <laughs> Okay, and then we're panning around. The little buffet on the right there that you can see, it's got baked and freshly baked and things. That's my daughter's previous kitchen table. That's where she had her coffee station and tea station. Well, as orchid people that we are, we repurpose everything. If we can find a shelf, that would work for our orchids. And you can also see the one and only community pot of houseplants that I have in Lekka and self-watering to the right. Moving on down, okay, <laughs> we still got the buffet. And then you can see in the bottom left hand corner, stash, stuff that now needs to go because, you know, we've changed the opinion of what we're going to do. So that was all underneath the dining room table stored and waiting, ready to go. And then we pan around and you can see my supplies shelf at the bottom there. That was, that shelf was actually only supposed to be for orchid supplies. Meanwhile, that also was taken over <laughs> and would now be used for orchids. So so yeah, I was trying to contain my orchid venture within this space, but it expanded relatively quickly. what we see now fast forward to 2023 so because i didn't want any backlight you can see now the shelf that was at the back of the wall which now has a mirror on it so i'm sorry i'm not going to pan the camera to my workstation there are things on there that shouldn't be you know out in the public but yeah that back wall where the rack was previously now has a beautiful mirror on it and i could light up the mirror it's got a beautiful reflecting light around it I need to get a better webcam if I'm going to be more on camera while I do live streams. Anyway, I would say check the live stream out because there's a lot of detail in there how grow spaces evolve. Not just because we get more orchids in, but we also realize that we have dark corners, dark pockets, and we want to light them up. So now we are here in 2023. This has been my setup since the winter of 2019. The previous footage was shot just before Christmas of 2018 and I already changed my mind. The new season, it would have to be completely different. Here we are, shelf is in the middle. I've also repurposed, I think you can see in the back there, another shelf that was just for pictures and knickknacks and pretty little mementos. It was in the living room and I thought, hey, <clears throat> <laughs> as you do right so i've got an additional shelf now where the white desk was my main rack in the middle and of course you can see the stainless steel shelving here on the left and you can see the shelving on the right as it was and i've moved my daughter's tea and coffee station which is now behind me i don't use that anymore because i needed to fit the big dining room table into the corner I've moved that behind me because that is where Siliano's outdoor cage rests when we bring him outdoors to enjoy some beautiful sunshine or beautiful breezy air during the warmer months of the year. Eventually, I want my white desk back as opposed to a huge dining room table. And then I would scoot the buffets to the right there that you can see this whole buffet thing, which is full of orchid stuff and then personal files, <laughs> but mainly orchid stuff. <laughs> And I have a shed that has orchid supplies. <laughs> it was my daughter's shed. It was a little joke that we had. I said, never ever complain your mom didn't buy you a house. <laughs> I bought her a little house and it's full of orchid supplies. I'm telling you, I feel so bad. I've pretty much taken over, including the pantry. <laughs> oh, anyway, I digress. So that little cupboard, little station there has moved behind me and I've pushed the buffets forward so that I could accommodate the big dining room table. And what you can see, well, <laughs> sort of, you can see the insulation that I have put on my desk drawers that <laughs> you saw in the other clip. And of course my angraquids live on that. 
Anyway, I just thought that this was kind of cute. Having found that footage, thought I would do a then and now, a before and after. The details of how things evolve also features Trisha's orchid life in that live stream. So you don't just have my perspective, but there is a discussion, there's a bit of back and forth. You have her perspective as well, because she lives with her orchids and they are in her living room, which of course, having repurposed my dining room, there is no space for dining in here anymore. But from her perspective, as in trying to make it look decorative and feasible, including growing mounts indoors, which my mounts go outside, that is a different angle. You might want to check that out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate a like very, very much. I have a little bit of a break in the weather. It's not going to last very long. It makes me feel very cheerful. But to see likes, to see that people enjoyed it, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, even if you've seen the live stream. If you have questions, leave that in the comments and we can go into specifics with your concerns and questions, even if you just need a confirmation, let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye. And this is the reality of what they have to deal with until they get to go outside again.